Coming up on episode 5 of Through the Turnstiles, Villa once again reminding us that they've won the Champions League. Lots and lots and lots of stairs. Witnessing a World Cup winning goalkeeper. Just some standard away end limbs. Acts of kindness such as assisting the elderly. Witnessing possibly the biggest shocker of an open goal miss. And a Villa fan escorted out of this West Midlands derby. Yes, this is a very overdue episode of Through the Turnstiles, but I've got to say I'm very excited. But it also doesn't bring much joy to me to be having to say that I'm really looking forward to visit Villa Park, but straight after a defeat where we lost to them at home. Link to the video is in the description below. But on a serious note, though, putting that game aside, Villa Park, fantastic ground, fantastic atmosphere, so I've been told. And I'm, and I'm really looking forward to being able to experience that. Now, obviously, in my last video, you saw that my missus is a Blues fan, Blue Nose, whatever the nicknames were in the comments below in the previous video. Well, half of her family are actually split. One half supports Birmingham City, the other half supports Aston Villa, and I'm going with that side of the family today. Today... Amy's uncle, Paul, will be taking me around to witness uh, this famous uh, Villa Park. And today they also play Wolves, which I really don't know if it's a derby for them. Obviously, of course, they're two clubs based in the West Midlands. So, you know, on paper, it is a, it is a derby. But that question really, though, is one for the fans to answer. And I guess that's what I'm going to find out today. If you like the video, then please do hit the like button and, and hit the subscribe button too. I'm going to try and push these through the Turnstiles episodes on more. And obviously, of course, Tottenham are playing Crystal Palace away, which means I'm actually going to a game whilst Tottenham are playing. But make no mistake, I will keep on tabs of that result and waiting for the inevitable when we concede first.
That is funny. Dean, get closer! Jesus Christ! Oh, great save, Mark! Good point, lads! Mark! Good clearance, good clearance! Good clearance. Yeah, well, 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 well. Are you expecting anything out of this free kick? Uh, I, I don't know, I'm just, I just want to see the food, the, the level. I don't think Cash is working down that right at all, to be honest. He's not. He's not in the game. If only he was starting. Oh! Okay. Good effort. He was. Oh! Good clearance. So, we've got two right backs playing there and still getting crosses in. Oh, mate. We're going to win a ball today. Didn't know what to do. They're all fucking back here, that's why. Oh, ah, yeah. What a wasted opportunity. I'm going to kick it. Oh. I don't mean so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah, still nil nil. I'm just surprised we haven't conceded yet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not feeling Pecatino on. That should at least add some extra creativity to your game. In fairness, Coutinho. Lovely little player. Yeah, very just gifted. Sometimes he just, he just goes missing. The marked home substitution for Wolverhampton Wanderers replaced by 10 Daniel Burnett's. He replaced by the 37 Adama Traore. The bodybuilder is on. Don't get me beaten up, Paul. <laughs> and we're 1 0 up. Ah. Go on. Try.
Bradford, Luca Dean. Please welcome number nine, Danny Inns, 17, Seems Ludwig Muskinson, and 32, Leander Dendonka. I get red. Fucking off anyway. Oh! It's off anyway. Oh! That'd be off there, wouldn't it? You'd have to take a draw. Decent ball. Oh yeah. Oh! Oh! Fucking hell. Oh! Oh, oh my god. That was close. I'll tell you what. Off the line, that was. Give it a few more and, you can, and it could be 1-1. Better play. Boise, get the ball again. Give it somebody else. Oh, that's the ball! Games that I miss. 